Hello my friends, thanks for stopping by. I hope you're all having a great day. Okay, this is going to be the final one of my little series that I've been doing. This will be my lip liners that I like for summer and my lip glosses. I don't have many lip glosses. I'm not a big lip gloss wearer, but from time to time, I do want to put a little pop of something in the center of my mouth. So I, have, um, I do have a lot of lip glosses, but I don't use a lot of them. So I picked out the ones that I find I grab the most. Okay, and one I just recently purchased and I thought wow, this is really nice Anyway, I'm gonna do the lip glosses first because there are very few of them in MAC There are three of my favorite lip glosses that I use and one is big baby It is just a perfect perfect color. It's a very pale peach It is absolutely gorgeous and it has a beautiful finish to it Let me get some more on there It just has a very very pretty finish to it just adds a hint of peach and just a pop of color where you might want it let's I'll just put it out over this lipstick just a little bit let me just stir it up here and then I'll just tap it and just just a touch of gloss is what I use I don't use a lot of gloss because it ends up all over the line outside lines of my mouth so I don't really play around too much with it. The next one that I, I love is Wildly Refined. And it's another one of those. If you'll notice, my glosses are very similar in color. Um, this is definitely Peacher. This is the Big Baby. This one pulls a little bit more color. And sometimes I like this one because of the extra color it has right there. And I will go ahead and just show you. over this lipstick that's all it does is it just adds a little bit of you know shimmer and there's just a little bit of color that you can see right there I love it I think it's beautiful let's get that off and then the next one is more of a cream not a, yes it's it's more of a cream it doesn't have as much of a shimmer it's ravishing and I'll hold them all up together so you can see that there is a slight difference to them all this is the ravishing the newest one that I'm going to talk about it actually gives you more color it's definitely leans toward the orange but what this is nice for is if you do want that shimmery lip that glossy lip you can put a lip liner on and then just put this over it and it gives you that glossy feel or again you can tap it in the center I like to tap glossier lip glosses in the center of my mouth versus just the creamy ones uh, the next two I'm going to show you are from Revlon and I just bought this one I thought oh this is just a gorgeous color and I like the Revlon glosses they're very sheer they don't uh, add a whole lot of this color. This is Pango Peach 245. I just thought, I don't know if the camera will pick up the, glit, the, the shimmer in there. It looks like it's going to be chunky glitter. I was a little afraid, but then I remembered I have the white one, the clear, um, the white one. You'll see. It's not white. It's a very pale pink. But this one has a beautiful color to it and just the right amount of shimmer. So I thought this is gorgeous for some of my orange lipsticks that I just want to add a pop of color in the center. So that's what I did. I don't, like I said, I don't normally just pop on gloss. I will if I'm going out and, and just hanging outside doing things. And this one here I thought was beautiful because it's just a very, very pale, there's no blue tone to this. It is just really a pale, it's, it's like it got golden, shimmer to it and it's like a pale peachy peachy pink okay and um let me put this one on i don't know that this one will even show up but we're going to put a big gob of it on so you can try to get a a look see of it but i really there it is it's on right there it's just perfect to add to the center let's do another little bit it's just got the right amount. Mm. My lips are gonna start sticking together now because I put so much stuff on them. <laughs> and that's the glosses. So we'll quickly move on to my liners because I do have a lot of liners that I like. And I thought, you know, I could come on here and show you five of them. But I think liners, 
Um, nudes, there's so many different types of nudes and some of them are gray nudes and some of them are mauvey nudes and some of them are brown nudes. And there's so many, there's certain ones that I cannot wear. And then it's very hard to find really nice orange liner. So I have one of those and a nice red. So I'm just going to get started. We'll show you my Mac liners first because I think Mac, everybody pretty much knows what all of the Mac liners are and what they look like. My three favorite are Spice, Boldly Bare, and Chicory. Spice, everyone is fully aware of what Spice looks like. It can go with many, many, it doesn't go with all lipsticks, but it goes with many. I love when I hear people in Hollywood or I read in a magazine, oh, you can wear Spice with absolutely any lipstick. I don't find that to be true, okay? That is Spice. And then this one here is Boldly Bare, which takes you more to a peachier tone. And then the next one is Chicory, which I wear a lot. And it, it definitely pulls to the red peach, but it gives definition to a lot of lipsticks or if something is a little too pale for me, I feel like I'm getting that sticky gunk that, you know, when your lips pop and there's like that string, I, that grosses me out. So I'm hoping that that's not happening with all this gloss on my lips. But uh, I like to have a little bit of definition put into some of my really pale lipsticks. And if you color it in and then you just put some on the outer part in it, and then you almost look like you have a natural pout. All right, so then we'll go into my Laura Mercier liners, which I have to say, I love the Laura Mercier liners for many reasons. They stay, but they also go on. Even when I have my Lemur um, blush uh, uh, lip balm on, my Laura Mercier liners have no problem going over them. So my favorites of them for summer are chestnut, hazelnut tea, potpourri, and naked. I don't wear naked a lot, but sometimes I can fudge it. All right, so my first one is the chestnut. And again, it will have an orange undertone because I am a peach lipstick wearer but it's a nice shade. The next one is hazelnut tea, which lends itself more to the spice. Uh, it's, I would compare this to a spice lip liner. It has less, it's more, it's more hazily. It's just a nice, nice lip liner. Um, it has a little more Mm, mauve tone to it versus the first one, okay? And then our next one is Potpourri, which is definitely lends itself to the pink family because you have to have a pink lip uh, liner. You just have to. And this one here for me does not turn really blue on my skin. The next one is Naked. Again, this is one that I have to really work with, but I thought it was worth showing. It absolutely is the lightest of all of them, and it it does have a little bit of pink mauve undertone on my skin. But again, it may be the perfect liner that you're looking for. All right, now we're gonna move on to our, let me get these off my hand. We'll move on to my Gucci. I love the Gucci liners. I have two of them. And the first one I have is um, <laughs> Soft Cameo. This is another great one. I wanna make sure my hands are dry. This one is another great neutrally pink color. Neutrally pink, neutral pink. Uh, really like it. And the one I have on today is this one. And it is Burnt Cinnamon. I have been wearing this nonstop. I bought this last summer and I love this liner. Okay, and it is, it looks like that. It's very, it's, it's more on your spice line, you know, that can really pull into a lot of different lipsticks. Okay, and I do have that on with Guilty Pleasures by Tom Ford today and a bunch of glosses, okay? All right, so let's get those off of our hand. Now I'm gonna show you my, these are, what are these? These are Givenchy liners. Uh, I have, that's a Giorgio Armani, okay? So I have two Givenchy, and this one here I'm going to say is a perfect orange. If you are an orange lipstick lover and you need an orange lip liner, this is it, it is number four. This is incredible as far as an orange. It is definitely a beautiful orange lipstick 
and just goes so perfectly with all of my orange lipsticks. Sometimes when you look for an orange liner, they're too red and they have a tendency to turn your lipsticks even from orange to red. And another one I like is number three, and this is by Givenchy. It's just a very nice peachy pink, uh, lending itself a little more to the pink family. This, this one here, okay? All right, and our next one will go with Makeup Forever, another orange one I found. It's, I like it, but it's a little too, little too much for me. So I, I do keep it and I do wear it, but um, it is a very true orange. This is when you really, really want a bold statement of orange. And this is the number 17C, perfect orange. All right, I prefer the other one though. I prefer the Givenchy number four as far as an orange pencil. Now this is a Giorgio Armani. This is the softest lip liner I have ever owned. It is absolutely, it's just, if, if a lip liner is gonna be gorgeous, this is it. And, and just in the texture, the way it feels, everything. This is the Giorgio Armani Smooth Silk Lip Liner in number six. This is the perfect red for me, uh, not there's hardly any blue into that red on my skin. It's perfect. It is just a beautiful red orange, a little bit pinky, uh, but just a perfect lip liner. And then I have one Dior to show you. And unfortunately, now I know it's discontinued for us. Now my girlfriends went to Vegas last summer and they found it might've been a little bit longer than that. They had some in stock. Some places still have it in stock, I don't know. I think it is a discontinued liner and it is linen. Um, it's a nice liner. It's perfectly nude for those nude pink looks that you might go for or beige nude. It's a very, it's softer than most of the Dior pencils. I must say though. Okay. So that is linen, which everybody's familiar with it. I'll tell you on my lips, the linen, I struggle a little bit because it does have a tendency to bring out the blue in lipsticks because of my lips. So I kind of stay away from it because I don't like mauve tones on me. All right, so this one here is by um, Guerlain, and this is the Boys de Indies, number 42. This is a perfect brownie nude for so many different looks. But I can honestly say that you would be able to find this color in many lines because it's just one of those colors. All right, so let me wipe those off and I have two, three from the drugstore. All right, I have a lot of drugstore, but I brought out my favorite. I have a ton of Rimmel liners, uh, but I brought out the ones that I use in the summer the most and two of them I just recently picked up and um, I like them, I've been wearing them a lot. And the first one is Palladio and uh, it is gingerbread. And this is the color of it. It's very, very nice. It's just a nice nude with a little bit of peach, but it's a deeper tone. It, there's, no light, there's no brightness to this, but it goes well with a lot of my lipsticks. And the other one I think is really pretty is Salmon. And this one is right there. And it, this definitely has more peach pink to it, the salmon. All right, and the last one is by, what is this? This is Milani, and this is the um, All Natural. And again, just one of those really nice natural pencils. This is not my favorite lip liner though, but that is what it looks like, and it lends itself well to neutral looks. So those are my favorite lip liners. I know I mentioned a lot, but I'm quite sure that I probably missed a few. So if you have a few really beautiful liners, especially if you're somebody who likes to wear the same color lipsticks as me, um, please share in the comment because you know, I'm always looking for liners that, you know, it seems that we live in a pink blue world and I'm not a pink, pink blue girl. I'm definitely a peachy girl. So I, I don't know why it's so hard to find really nice peachy nudes and you know, that kind of stuff. So when I find them, I usually stock up on them. Anyway, let us know in the comment what your favorite lip glosses and lip liners are. Love hearing from you. Thanks for stopping by. Don't forget, subscribe. We're anti-aging here. Be happy, healthy, beautiful, and most of all my friends, lovable. I love you all. Bisous.